Welcome back guys, today I'm going to show you how I built this built-in bed and wardrobe. So the first thing you can see me doing is just making a simple square frame. I'm just using standard CLS timber for this. And then now I'm just adding a few vertical supports that will hold the mattress. For these you may need to make sure you have the correct spacing, otherwise you'll have to redo it like I did. This is because I made the drawers beforehand. You can make the drawers afterwards according to the measurements you have. I then put these horizontal supports. This is what holds the mattress. But this whole project is just using screws, nothing tricky here. Now this section was quite difficult to get the right angles and the measurements but I got there in the end. So what I'm doing here is just framing for the wardrobe. And I did screw these bits into the wall for a bit of extra support. I know I'm not posting as much as I used to but I'd rather give you guys quality over quantity and when I'm doing these sorts of jobs it does take up most of my time but if you're going to enjoy this one don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Again adding a few more supports, now this gives the whole frame some strength and it gives me something to secure these side panels to. The top support you see me fit in here is actually to hold the sliding rail that's going to be added at the end. I'm adding a few more supports to give the bed frame support. Now it's up to you how many you add and the framing, the distance you use. It's completely up to you. I ended up taking the frame out so I could secure them from the other side as well. Now this is where the head would be so I decided to add one more support just in case and this is also screwed into the top of the stairwell. The whole point of this build was to utilise the space the best as we could. Now I'm assembling the drawers, again I pre-made these so I'm just screwing them together. I do have heavy duty drawer runners which I'll be using. There's lots of ways to make drawers but I like to make sure they're strong and they don't fail on customers. So 18mm surrounds and 3mm hardboard underneath. This was a bit tricky trying to get the runners in. You have to make sure they're correct. If you don't have the correct spacing they'll be too tight or too loose. They could come apart, they won't open as nice. The soft close may not work but I got there in the end. Enjoy the soft close guys. Now we're nearing the end so it was time to make it all look pretty. So what I'm doing is just adding panels and trim to cover all the framework. It's completely up to you how you'd like to do this. Keep it simple. Most likely it will be painted. If not then you may want to glue and screw from the back so you can't see anything. Now this cubby hole on the right is actually going to be visible so I've boarded it off using a bit of 9mm. Now this bit was very tricky because the ceiling is curved as you can see. I used cardboard to try to give me a template so I could use this to cut the actual wood later on. If you guys have a better method let me know in the comments. 
I took a few tries and a few cuts but it was a close enough match. I then secured this to the framework as you can see. Now for the door I added three hinges. It did take a bit of adjusting afterwards because of the angles on the door. I did actually trim the door down a little bit but I got there in the end. Now you can see me adding the sliding rail. Best way to make use of the space. I didn't fit a super long one because then the door wouldn't open and it would actually hit against the bedroom door. As always, soft close hinges. Lastly, it's just a knob fitting some knobs. These can be quickly taken out when it's time to paint. I haven't shown this bit, but I did fill all the holes so they would be ready for paint. Final pictures should be on my Instagram, sadly not in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments. Or at least just hit like and subscribe. And hopefully we can get me to a thousand subscribers quite soon. Thanks for watching guys.